I bet you the other NFC West team that we're going to hit on in the Rams, six and a half point favorites against Washington, another team coming off the bye, total of 50 and a half. And that market has been bet up from 47 all the way from 47 on Sunday night. It's almost hit two key numbers when it comes to totals. But how are you betting this one? Back on the Rams. Um, yeah, this team, I think, is legitimately turning a corner on offense. Um, number three in offensive EPA since Kyron Williams came back. Um, and, and, you know, obviously with small samples, it can be tricky. You know, you see teams excel against soft competition, whatever else, but that's not what's happening here. You know, they've played the Browns, they've played the Ravens. These are two of the stronger defenses in the NFL. I believe when it comes to yards per play allowed, they might be the top two, in fact. I mean, I'm definitely on the record saying the Ravens might be the most overrated defense in the NFL, but this is still a solid unit, and the Rams, you know, move the ball at will on them, basically. Uh, Did the same thing to the Browns. I I just think between Kyron coming back, boosting the run game, and Sean McVay really like finding his groove as a as a play caller and coordinator here. This is an offense that I think is legitimately one of the better ones in the NFL. And, and you're playing a Washington defense that is just atrocious. I mean, 40 points allowed, you know, whatever else it's been multiple times. And a team that just puts no pressure on the passer. Obviously, we know they traded away multiple elite defensive linemen, uh, edge rushers, 24th in pressure rate on the season and and given that that includes multiple games with sweat with young you know that probably honestly oversells their ability to get pressure and i've talked about a lot of times when i see um the rams playing against a team that can't generate pressure i'm immediately going to be bullish and then vice versa and you see that with the total it's already up 250 and a half i believe it was 49 and a half earlier in the week playing at home this team for their playoff lives probably and the opposing coach is a, basically a dead man walking everyone knows Rivera is going to be fired at the end of the year Washington's offense was frisky early in the season but look at their outputs lately it's been pretty poor I mean they haven't scored 20 points in a month and they're facing you know the Giants defense the Dolphins defense these are not scary units I just think like one of the better offenses in the NFL here with a sharp coaching staff at home. I, I think the Rams, I know even though commanders are coming off the bye, I think the Rams should be a seven point favorite at home uh, here, but market not there yet. So I'm happy to take the Rams. Maybe the back door is open here, which is a little bit scary against this mediocre Rams defense, you know, but like I said, that Sam Howell just hasn't really been doing it for some time now. So I, I think I think the Rams are still a bit undervalued, as weird as that sounds, when they just keep going out, covering, slash, winning every week. Probably could have beaten the Ravens, if not for a blown call, which we've talked about. So, yeah, I, I just think the Rams are a really solid team, and, and it's not reflected in their record, and I don't think their market's reflecting it yet. Yeah, Rams are still... Obviously, in the playoff hunt for a wild card spot in the NFC, plus 180 over at Caesar Sportsbook if you're interested in that. I may be a little more apt to back the Rams in that market rather than lay it, just because situationally I'm a little concerned with the Rams coming off an emotional overtime game. All the points you brought up from a metric standpoint and just efficiency with this Rams offense ever since they got Williams back and Stafford back for that matter, against the Seahawks. But Washington coming off the bye, not that Howell was playing well before it, as you said. Still a little concerned situationally, but I totally get the play with the Rams trying to continue to back an explosive offense as we saw last week against one of the better defenses, at least on paper, that underperformed. Or if you're on, in in Mo's camp, thinking that the Ravens are overvalued, then maybe they are playing above market expectation and are going to continue to come back down to earth. But either way, I'm buying into the notion that the Rams may continue to peak and may be worth a little bit of a sprinkle on their odds to make the playoffs. Any any takes there before we move on to our final game and then our guest? I mean, if you're doing that, it's just basically 
they they pretty much have to sweep these games that aren't the 49ers. Like they have a, a loss basically baked into the schedule. They have to play the 49ers on the road still. And that's like I mean that's that line's going to be like 10 and a half or whatever. So they're going to be massive underdogs there. Not any room for error at this point really. And, and honestly one thing that just really sucks for the Rams is they they just they don't have the tiebreaker on Green Bay. Green Bay has a tiebreak over them because of a game that was started by Brett Rippon. So right. that's obviously really uh, just unfortunate for them, the timing of that game. 